Hello everybody, this is Gadi from Crackathon and today we'll open a new box of Karns of Takir. This is a whole booster box I'm opening on this video and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. So I hope I get my color names right. I have this little sheet sheet in front of me with Epsan, Jeskai, Sultai, Maru and Temur colors written on it. And I hope I get them right. I'm not that good at remembering those names or the two color variants from the other sets. Okay, so we have this little insert, cans of Takir. Run Friday Night Magic at your store every week. Whatever. Okay. So, 36 boosters. Let's get some fetch lands. Okay, first one. First poster we have Dutiful Return, I Knock Tracker, Jeskai Banner, Smoke Teller, Mardu Banner, Feet of Resistance, Whirlwind Adept, Sage Eye Harrier, Swift Water Cliffs, Arc Lightning is our first uncommon. Incremental Growth, Sultai Thusayer, and Empty the Pits is the new mythic right off the bat with 2x and 4 black at the mana cost. It's an instant. Delve. Each card you exile from your graveyard while casting the spell pays for one colorless. Put x2 2, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield tapped. Okay. And Foil is Weave Fate. Okay. And then we've got an island. And a warrior token. So try to do some stacks that you can see for the rares and mythic, for the foils, and all the rest of off camera. All things magic. Timur banner, tormenting voice, throttle, archer's parapet, snowhorn rider. Act of Trezen, Jeskai Wind Scout, Defiant Strike, Embodiment of Spring, Erase, Abzan Battle Priest is our first uncommon, Watcher of the Roost, Cranial Archive, this looks kind of strange, and our rare is Crackling Doom. Which is Mardu, okay. As I said, I have to learn the colors as well. It's an instant. Crackling Doom deals 2 damage to each opponent. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures he or she controls. Do not fear the lightning, fear the one it obeys. Okay, so this is probably more... Sorry. Into Commander or some variants of... And a morph token, okay. Of multiplayer magic. Okay. And the next one is Timur Banner, Fast Colossodon, Summit Prowler, Kintry Warden, Debilitating Debilitating Injury, Blossoming Sands. Sword Road Patrol, Tra Tranquil Cove, Alabaster Kirin, Crippling Chill, Timely Horde Mate, Pine Walker, Ice Feather, Feather Even, and our rare is Trail of Mystery. It's an enchantment. Whenever a face down creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may search your library for a basic land card, reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, it's a creature. If it's a creature, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Okay. And a swamp and a warrior token. Okay. So 
So we have Right of the Serpent, Shatter, Abzan Banner, Snowhorn Rider, Bringlow, Rotting Mastodon, Tigam Scheming, Firehoof Cavalry, Dismal Blackwater, Mardu Horde Chief, Seek of the Way, Murderous. Oh, was already the income. Okay. Murderous Cut, Timur Charm, and Dig Through Time. For six and two blue, it's an instant. It does a delve. Look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Okay. Planes and some advertising. Kruma Bondkin, Bloodfire Mentor, Sultai Scavenger, Segu Archer, Abzan Banner, Inok Tracker, Disdainful Stroke, Jeskai Student, Crippling Chill, Smite the Monstrous, Waterworld is the Uncommon, Warden of the Eye, Opulent Palace, Opulent Palace is Sultai, okay. Mandarin Tower Shell for three and two green. It's a turtle five nine creature. It has island walk. And whenever it attacks, it are exiled it, return it to the battlefield under your control. Tap on attacking at the beginning of the de to declare attacker step on your next turn. Okay. And an island and some advertising again. Ooh. Molting Snakeskin, Aerostorm, Highland Game, Sultabana, Canyon Lurkers, Canyon Lurkers, Rakshasa Secret, Sage Eye Harrier, Sling Singing Bell Strike, Erase, Jungle Hollow, Scion of Glaciers is our first uncommon. Oops, sorry. Ruthless Ripper, Winter Flame, and Aurea is Altar of the Brood. It's an artifact for one. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent puts a top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And a swamp and a spirit warrior token. Okay. Next, rugged highlands, dragon scale boon, debilitating injury, bloodfire expert. Longshot Squad, Force Away, Windscarred Crack, Skaldkin, Sword Road Patrol, Arc Lightning, Dazzling Ramparts, Timo Charm, and Ivory Tusk Fortress. For two, white, black, green, which is Abzan, Elephant 5 7 creature, untap each creature you control with a plus one plus one count on it during each other player's untap step. Okay. And Flying Crane Technique for your rare. With three, one blue, one red, one white instant. Untap all creatures you control. They gain flying and double strike until end of turn. There are many Jeskai styles. Riverwalk imitates flying water. Dragonfist, the ancient Hellkites. And Flying Crane, the white haven of the high peaks. Okay. And some planes and advertising again. Alpine Grizzly, Unyielding Kruma, Feed the Clan, Arrowstorm, Abomination of Godul, Rugged Highlands, Jeskai Windscut, Smite the Monstrous, Bloodfell Caves, Wetland Samba, Mardu Blazebringer, Blinding Spray, Mardu Charm, and our rare is Butcher of the Horde. Okay, it's for one, one red, one white, one black. It's a demon 5-4 creature, it has flying. Sacrifice another creature, Butcher of the Horde. Gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink or Haste until end of turn. Okay, and a forest and a morph token. Okay, it's probably pronounced Butcher or something like that. Had different teachers saying different things about it.
Okay. Leaping Master. Feed the Clan. Barrage of Boulders. Kruma Bondkin. Naturalize. Summit Prowler. Siegecraft. Jeskai Windscout. Feed of Resistance. Holdling Outburst. Watch of the Roost. Opulent Palace. And Herald of Anafenza. For one white, it's a human soldier, one tier creature. It has Outlast for two and one white. Two and one white. Tap it. Put a one one count on this creature. Outlast only as a sorcery. Whenever you activ activate Herald of Anafenza's Outlast ability, put a one one white warrior creature token onto the battlefield. Okay. And a foil, hardened scales for one green, it's an enchantment. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be placed on a creature you control, that many plus one plus one plus one counters are placed on it instead. Okay. And an island. Advertising again. Always lovely this many advertising cards. Rakshasa's Secret, Smoke Teller, Bitter Revelation, Swift Kick, Hooting Mandroids, Ponyback, Brigade. It's a funny picture. Firehoof Cavalry, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Defiant Strike, Thornwood Falls, Burn Away, Dead Drop, Warden of the Eye, and our rare is. Necropolis Fiend for 7 and 2 black. It's a demon. 4 5 creature. It has delve, flying, and 4x and tapping and exile x cards from the graveyard. Target creature gets minus x minus x until end of turn. Okay. And a swamp and some more advertising. Tell me in the comments if you think. Uh, MTG merge, okay. Um, if you think I should skip all the comments. Till now I've always done it. Tell me what you prefer. Lands of Clarity, Carol Dreadmore, Timur Banner, Tusk Colossodon, Summit Prowler, Kintree Warden, Glacial Stalker, War Behemoth, Embodiment of Spring, Tranquil Cove, Seek the Horizon, Merrick Nightblade, Sultai Charm, and our rare is Sagu Mauler for four, one green, one blue. It's a beast 6-6 six, six creature with trample and hexproof. And it has morph 3, 1 green, 1 blue. Okay. The Sago jungles, thick undergrowth conceals even the largest predators if they wish to remain hidden. Okay. Ominous. All the colors again. If one type of this card doesn't help me enough. Don't know why, but for me it's for some reason quite hard to remember all the constellations. Okay, Abzan Guide. Ah, <laughs> it's Abzan Colors, you know. Trumpet Blast, Dutiful Return, Kintree Warden, Maru Banner, Disowned Ancestor, Singing Bell Strike, Swiftwater Cliffs, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Killshot, Harrow of the Wilds, Despise, Maru Charm, Rakshada Death Dealer. For one black, one green, it's a Cat a Demon 2-2 two -two creature. For one black, one green, Raksha the Death Dealer gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. For one black, one green, regen regenerate Raksha the Death Dealer. Death fills me and makes me strong. You, it will reduce to nothing. Looks nice. Mountain and a zombie token in shackles. Okay. I think some of the... You should have three fetch lands, if I recall correctly. Debilitating Injury, Blossoming Sands, Molting Snakeskin, Aerostorm, Highland Game, Sultai Banner, Mardu Hate Blade, oh, sorry, Hate Blade, Treasure Cruise, the banned card. For seven and one blue, Sorcery Delve, draw three cards. Okay. Scarred Barons, Whirlwind Adept. Mistfire Weaver, Monastery Swift Spear, Cranial Archive, and Flying Crane Technique again. Okay. No, I think I got it in foil. Yeah, I got it in foil. Okay, so foil and non foil. Mountain and Morph Token. Soul 
Soul Tie Banner, Awaken the Bear, Kero Dreadmore, Trumpet Blast, Abdan Guide, Archer's Parapet, Skaldkin, Sword Rod Patrol, Cancel, Mardu or Chief, Pine Walker, Waterwall, Chief of the Scale, and Rare is Kiru Spell Snatcher. Oh God, it's a lot to read. For 3 and 1 blue, it's a Naga Withered 3 3 creature. It has Morph for 4 and 2 blue. When it is face, turned face up, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting into it. It into its owner's graveyard, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost for as long as it remains exiled. Okay, and an island and a goblin token. Okay, next we have Swift Kick, Woolly Loxodon, Bitter Revelation, Hooting Mandrels, Afreed Weapon Master, Mardu Warshrieker, Wetland Sambar. Alabaster Kirin, We Fate, Siegecraft, Stubborn Denial, Goblin Slide, Secret Plans, and Rare is Mind Swipe for X, one blue, one red. It's an instant counter target spell unless its controller pays X. Mind Swipe deals X damage to that spell's controller. Okay, and an island and a snake token, very nice. Oh, open it on camera. Unyielding Kruma, Leaping Master, Scout the Borders, Sidisi's Pet, Tormenting Voice, Naturalize, Lens of Clarity, Whirlwind Adept, Siegecraft, Monastery Swift Spear, Briber's Purse, Kintry Invocation, and Dragon Throne of Takir. For four, it's a legendary artifact equipment. Equipped creature has defender and two. Tap it. Other creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is this creature's power. Equip three. Okay. And the high spire mantis foil and a mountain and a morph turtle. Morph turtle. Morph. 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 Next we have Canyon Lurkers, Rakshasa Secret, Leaping Master. Feed the Clan, Barrage of Boulders, Kruma Bondkin, Defiant Strike, Glacial Stalker, Thornwood Falls, War Behemoth, Take Up Arms, Swarm of Bloodflies, Mardu Rough Rider, and our rare is Rakshada Vizier. For two, one <coughs> black, one green, one blue, which is again Sultai, Cat Demon 4 4 creature. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile from the graveyard, put that many plus one plus one counters on Raksha, the Vizier. Okay, and the Swamp Advertising. Sorry. The Pro Tour. Yeah. Awaken the Bear. Shambling Attendants. Alpine Grizzly. Valley Dasher. Highland Game. Disowned Ancestor. Monastery Flock, Killshot, Glacial Stalker, Seeker of the Way, Kintry Invocation, Chief of the Edge, and our rare is Wingmate Rock, another mythic, which I don't think is very good. For 3 and 2 white, it's a bird 3-4 creature, it is flying and raid. When it enters the battlefield, if you attacked with a creature this turn, put a 3-4 white bird creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Whenever it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking creature. And a foil jungle hollow. And the planes. And more advertising. Yay! Act of Treason, Maru Skull Hunter, Savage Punch. I love this art. It's, it looks so good. Shatter, Shambling Attendance. Long Shot Squad, Mardu Hate Blade, Cancel, Rush of Battle, Scout Barons, Pine Walker, Riverville Aerialists, Gurmak Swiftwing, and Dragon Style Twins. For 3 and 2 red, it's a Human Monk 3 3 creature with a double strike prowess. Island. 
this. I think we're about halfway. Ponyback Brigade, Bloodfire Expert, Sago Archer, Right of Right of the Serpent, Efreet Weapon Master, Barrage of Boulders, Windscarred Crack, Bloodfur Caves, Enoch Bondkin, Singing Bell Strike, Quiet Contemplation, Dazzling Ramparts, Master the Way, and Rare is Kratos Claws for X and one red. It's a sorcery. It deals X damage to target player creature or player, ferocious, it deals x plus 2 damage to that creature or player instead if you control a creature with power 4 or greater. Okay, and the planes. Sorry, for some reason I stopped putting back to near now. Naturalize, Summit Prowler, Abzan Guide, Trumpet Blast, Dutiful Return, Treasure Cruise, Swift Water Cliff, Wetland Samba, Rush of Battle, War Name Aspirant, Stubborn Denial, Frontier Bivouac, Ankle Shanker. Okay, for two, one red, one white, one black. It's a Goblin Berserker 2 2 creature with haste. Whenever it attacks, creatures you control gain first strike and death touch until end of turn. And an Archer's Parapet foil. Oh, this looks very nice. Planes and a goblin token. Sorry. No. Bring low, rotting mastodon, valley dasher, throttle, woolly loxodon, jeskai windscout, defiant strike, embodiment of spring. Erase Tusk Guard Captain, Sultai Thusaya, Mystic Monastery, and Dig Through Time. For 6 and 2 blue, it's an instant with Delve. Look at the top 7 cards of your library, put 2 of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Murderous Cut Foil, Planes, and a Warrior Token. Okay. Savage Punch, Molting Snakeskin, Maru War Shrieker, Scout the Borders, Jeskai Banner, Sultai Scavenger, Smite the Monstrous, Fourth Away, Erase, Embodiment of Spring, War Name Aspirant, Swarm of Bloodflies, Bear's Companion, and a Bloodstained Maya. Very nice. Fetch Land. Tap it, pay one life, sacrifice it. Search your library for a swamp or mountain card and put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Where dragons once triumphant, triumphed, their bones now molder. Okay, very nice. And a forest and a sarkan emblem. Okay. So we have two mythics and one patch gun right now. Let's hope in either department we get two more. Kintry Warden, Mardu Banner. This Aunt Ancestor, Swift Kick, Wooly Loxodon, Bitter Revelation, Disdainful Stroke, Alabaster Kirin, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Jungle Hollow, Roar of Challenge, Temu Charm, Merrick Nightblade, and Retribution of the Ancients. For one black, it's an enchantment. One black, remove x plus one plus one counters from among creatures you control. Target creature gets minus x, minus x until end of turn. Okay. Then I add an amorph token. Abomination of Good Wool, Canyon Lurkers, Maru Skull Hunter, Tusk Colossodon. Beautiful Return, I knock Tracker, Disdainful Stroke, Jeskai Student, Crippling Chill, Smite the Monstrous, Dragon Grip, Brave the Sands, Chief of the Scale, and Pearl Lake Ancient. Another mythic for 5 and 2 blue, it's a Leviathan 6 7 creature, just flash, it can't be countered, and it prowess. Return 3 lands you control 
to their owner's hand, return Pearl Lake Ancient to its owner's hand. Okay, and a swamp and a goblin token. Blossoming Sands, Bloodfire Mentor, Dragon Scale Boon, CDZ's Pet, Timo Banner, Tormenting Voice, Thornwood Falls, Inok Bondkin, Force Away, Mardu Horde Chief, Become Immense, Take Up Arms, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, okay, and Narset Enlightened Master. Nice. For 3, 1 blue, 1 red, 1 white, it's a human monk, 3, 2 legendary creature. It has first strike and hexproof. Whenever it attacks, exile the top four cards of your library until end of turn. You may cast non-creature cards exiled with Narset this turn without paying the mana cost. Okay. And a swamp and a goblin. So, we doubled up on the mythics, but I still want some more fetch lands. Shooting mandrels, afraid weapon master, Maru Warshrieker. Awaken the Bear, Shambling Attendants, Alpine Grizzly, Killshot, Tigam Scheming, Bloodfell Caves, Firehoof Cavalry, Mistfire Weaver, Absent Falconer, Absent Charm, and Ghostfire Blade. For one, it's an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two and is equipped cost at three. Ghostfire Blade's ab equip ability costs two less to activate if it targets a colorless creature. Okay, Mountain. Extra card. So we have nine packs left. Let's get them out of the box. Nine packs. Last quarter. Valley Dasher. Highland Game. Disowned Ancestor. Act of Treason. Mardu Skull Hunter. Savage Punch, Disdainful Stroke, Sage Eye Harrier, Jungle Hollow, We Fate, Hordling Outburst, Heart Pierce Bow, Ride Down, and Wooded Foothills, another fetch land. Yes. Tap it, pay one life, sacrifice it, search your library for mountain or forest card, and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. The Dragon's Breath once burned, the bones now freeze. Planes and a warrior token. Okay. Can I get one more fetch land? Please? Please? please. Shatter. Shambling attendance. Long shot squad. Bring low. Rotting master. Valley dasher. Mardu hate blade. Windscarred crack. Turgum scheming. Enoch bondkin. Jeskai Elder, Brave the Sands, Mystic Monastery, and High Sentinels of Arashin for 3 and 1 white. It's a bird soldier, 3 4 creature with flying. It gets plus 1 plus 1 for each other creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. And for 3 and 1 white, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature. And a swamp and a morph turbine. Okay. Throttle, Woolly Loxodon, Abomination of Godul, Canyon Lurkers, Maru Skull Hunter, Tusk Colossodon, Monastery Flock, Jeskai Student, Scout Barons, We Fate, Windstorm, Ice Feathers Avon, Nomad Outpost, and Blood Soaked Champion for one black. It's a human warrior to one creature. It can't block. It has a raid for one and one black. Return Bloodsock Champion from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this ability only if you attack with the creature this turn. Death is merely another foe, for foe the Mardu will overcome. In a forest and a snake turtle. Next we have Throttle, Archer's Parapet, Swar Snowhorn Rider, Act of Treason, Kruma Bondkin, Dismal Blackwater. Backwater, Crippling Chill, War Behemoth, Cancel, Blinding Spray, Witness of the Ages, Chief of the Edge, and Avalanche Tusker for two, one, one green, one blue, one red, Elephant Warrior, 6-4 creature, 
Whenever it attacks, target creature defending player controls block the, this combat if able. Hold the high ground, then bring it to your enemy. Surak Khan of the Timur. And the foil shatter. Try to destroy target artifact. Planes, warrior token, okay. Five packs left. Okay, Bloodfire Mentor, Sultai Scavenger, Sagu Archer, Abzan Banner, Einok Tracker, Rugged Highlands, Jeskai Student, Tranquil Cove, Skaldkin, Feet of Resistance. Oh, oh, little stack maintenance on the side. Horde Ambusher, Incremental Growth, Beer's Companion, and Mardu Ascendancy. For one of each Mardu color, Enchantment, whenever a non-token creature you control attacks, put a 1-1 one, one red goblin tree creature token onto the battlefield tapped in attacking. Sacrifice it, creatures you control get plus 0, plus 3 until end of turn. Okay, the swamp and the spirit token. Next we have dragon scale boon. Debilitating Injury, Bloodfire Expert, Longshot Squad, Lens of Clarity, Kiro Dreadmoor, Treasure Cruise, Rush of Battle, Dismal Backwater, Monastery Flock, Mardu Heart Piercer, Raider Sports, Sultai Charm, and Ankle Shanker. Did I double up on Ankle Shanker now? Yes, I did. Okay. Should have been a fetch land. Don't need to read it again, right? Jessica Banner, Smoke Teller, Mardu Banner, Right of the Serpent, Shatter, Abzan Banner, Force Away, Windscarred Crack, Skaldkin, Swordward Patrol, Riverveal, Aerialists, Kiro Bloodsucker, Soldier Thusayer, Acherand for two, one white, one black, it's an instant. Exile target, non land permanent. I came seeking a challenge, all I found was you. Zurgo Khan of the Mardu, okay, and a planes and so. Excess cardboard. Snowhorn Rider, Bring Low, Rotting Mastodon. Alpine Grizzly, a unyielding Kruma, Feed the Clan, Glacial Stalker, War Behemoth, Embodiment of Spring, Tranquil Cove, Sultai Flayer, Suspension Field, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, and Crater's Claws. I had that one already too, okay. And our last pack of this box. Arrowstorm, Abomination of Godul, Rugged Highlands, Rakshasa Secret, Smoke Teller, Bitter Revelation, Mardu Hate Blade, Treasure Cruise, Scout Barons, Whirlwind Adept, Arc Lightning, High Spire Mantis, Witness of the Ages, and Evident Tusker. Also, double up. Man. Planes and advertising. Let me check the prices and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. I have my numbers. And let's say the problem with Kano's Takio, Kano's Takio's was that because of these, there was a lot of cracking. So right now there's not much value in the set besides, of course, the fetch lands, which Bloodstain Maya, um, just to explain, all the settings I used are on Magic Cardmart MKM in Europe, especially Germany. I set my settings to German, near mint and mint. Uh, so German sellers only, because I sell from Germany and for especially people like me that prefer to buy from German sellers, they're often um, they're often okay with paying a premium. So I can can put a little bit higher than the lowest prices on the market and still sell my cards. So wooded foothills and bloodstained mire is 12 euros and 1350, 1350, so 25 euros together, those two cards. Murderous Cut is foil, 350, and Hardened Scales is foil, 
540. And then I've got two Monastery Swift Spears, which are each worth one euro. And all, and this whole bag of rares and mythics and mythics is mm, yeah, together maybe a buck or two, one or two, two euros. In fact, there is a token, which I haven't got, I didn't get the vampire token, which is mo worth more than some of the rares and mythics in the set. And the foils up here are also, yeah, maybe one or two are 20 to 30, 40 cents, but not really any value in it. But as I don't crack it for value, it's okay for me. But if you prefer to invest in cards, invest into magic, opening the set isn't worth it by quite a lot, especially if you only get two fetchlands and yeah, basically all the other rares and mythics aren't worth opening because I think the highest one is three euros or so. So maybe if you get a foil, you're lucky, but even the foils aren't worth very much. So thank you for watching and until next time.